Have you ever wondered which cryptocurrency might surprise us all and outshine Bitcoin in the current market cycle? Let me tell you a tale that starts with Ethereum, our unsung hero. Uh, the stage is set as the United States Securities and Exchange Commission green lights the Ethereum exchange traded fund, allowing it to go live shortly. Now get ready for some of the mind-blowing numbers. According to K33 Research, this new Ethereum ETF could draw in a staggering $4 billion in investments during its initial five months. And why such a massive influx of capital? Well, K33 Research based their predictions on the global management of assets tied to Ethereum-based exchange-traded products, uh, ETPs, compared to those linked to Bitcoin. Additionally, they analyzed trading volumes of Ethereum futures contracts on the prestigious Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And now, let's add fuel to the fire. A renowned crypto analyst named Michael Medeo recently shared his thoughts on Twitter regarding Ethereum's potential to outperform Bitcoin. He presented five compelling reasons supporting this claim, including lower operational costs for validators, token incentives, a token burn mechanism, a lock supply, and higher on-chain activity. Uh, first off, Ethereum validators boast significantly lower operating costs, meaning they aren't compelled to sell as much ETH as Bitcoin miners do to meet their expenses. Next up, Ethereum of Futures token incentives, worth approximately $7.2 million per day, a fraction of Bitcoin's $43.8 million daily payout. This difference translates to fewer potential selling pressures for Ethereum. Moreover, Ethereum introduced EIP-1559, a groundbreaking update where roughly 80% of user transaction fees are burned, effectively decreasing the total lead supply. Conversely, Bitcoin maintains a constant supply. Further, of nearly 40% of ethical forecast is currently soft-locked in decentralized finance DeFi services or used as collateral, restricting its circulating supply and providing stability. Last but not least, a theory supports diverse applications like decentralized finance, layer two solutions, gaming, and non-fungible tokens, leading to increased network utilization and subsequent ETH burn. I'll just sign up to me in any time. So, what does all this mean for Ethereum's future price movements? As of now, Ethereum has recovered the crucial $38, $10 price zone and even made a market capitalization of $457 billion. With these developments, Ethereum enthusiasts eagerly anticipate a possible surge towards $10,000, and who knows, maybe Ethereum will indeed prove to be the dark horse of the crypto world. And finally, a little humor to lighten the mood. Why did Ethereum join a comedy club? Because it wanted to make gas fees laugh. With that said, thank you for joining me on this journey through the captivating world of cryptocurrencies. Until next time.